I think uh, there's probably an initial skepticism uh, when people just Google me. Representative Ro Khanna of California. So you're Silicon Valley's representative? Who is this guy, this Indian American of Hindu faith from the Bay Area who's talking about bringing manufacturing jobs back? It's absolutely critical to our nation, to our economic strength, that we should be making things here again. Uh, steel, aluminum, textiles, paper. These factories should be in the United States. I'm Ro Khanna. I represent Silicon Valley in the United States Congress. It's an extraordinary district. It's incredibly diverse. The 17th district is the heart of American innovation and technology. You have Apple, Google, Intel, Yahoo, Cisco, LinkedIn, Tesla, uh, all in uh, this incredible place. You have a jam-packed schedule. I've heard that this is quite normal for you. you run us through what's on your plate for today. Well, we have an interview with a Vietnamese-American station, and we have a, a meeting with Starbucks workers. We're trying to unionize. We're going to have a town hall later, and uh, we have a few more events on the calendar. And I'm flying out tonight to, to, to Taiwan. So. Oh, wow. Now wait, that's a big deal. This is the first U.S. delegation to visit Taiwan after the U.S. shot down an alleged Chinese spy balloon. One of the main things is the, the economic relationship to see how they've succeeded in building their semiconductor manufacturing, how we can uh, build semiconductor manufacturing here. Uh, I'll be meeting the president and, and defense secretary just to also make sure that it's clear that Taiwan has the capability to prevent any military invasion. Well, I was born in Philadelphia in uh, 1976. My parents uh, immigrated from India. A lot of my influence was from my grandfather, who spent uh, years uh, fighting for India's independence. He was uh, someone who I uh, really found inspiring, who shaped uh, my interest in politics. And then I was shaped by my upbringing in Bucks County. My parents didn't talk as much about my rights uh, as a son of immigrants. They talked a lot about my responsibilities. They'd say, you won the lottery. You were born in America. Uh, go make something of yourself. Go work hard. Go study hard. So it has uh, given me uh, a real respect for uh, the immigrant experience as enriching and building the strength of the nation. Kana went on to teach economics at Stanford serve in the Obama administration and become one of the leading voices in the House working to bring American manufacturing and tech leadership back to the U.S. A new economic patriotism uh, simply means that the private sector can work with universities, community colleges, labor, the government to have a common purpose of investing uh, in America's production capability. What I think we need to do is look at regions that have been decimated, deindustrialized, say, what are their assets? How can we have a moonshot there? How can we have place-based policy for economic revitalization? What's some of like your proudest accomplishments so far? Well, certainly the Chips and Science Act that I helped uh, draft uh, led to two Intel factories coming to Ohio, led to Micron being in uh, upstate New York uh, with almost a hundred billion dollar investment. I believe for us to have the next generation of manufacturing, we need new technology. We need uh, immigrants. We need uh, a educated workforce. We need the skilled trades and vocational education. And we need government financing. And this can be a common national purpose, the economic revitalization of the country. I've said we need a chip sack uh, every year for many different industries. Uh, this can't be a one-off. Now both parties recognize that the gutting of factory towns was a huge mistake. The offshoring of production was a huge mistake. The economic disparity is polarizing America. Well, I've called for a $2 trillion investment over 10 years. The CHIPS Act was about 50 billion. We need to have the same urgency, the same scale to build this production base. It is a difficult uh, argument to convince people on uh, the spending. I have not gotten people to buy into the $2 trillion investment. I did the bill with Marco Rubio. He's good with $20 billion investment, which is a start. Uh, but I will continue to make it uh, that we have to go big and bold on this. It's been a long day, but uh, a good day. And we're now going to the town hall before uh, flying out. The town hall is the best part of my job. I do it every month, and we often get 200, 300 people. Sometimes we get 20, 30 people. It always makes me much more thoughtful. Hi, Congressman. I just want to thank you for inviting us. I appreciate uh, the participation here and the honor to represent you. Thank you very much. 
I am very enthusiastic in backing President Biden. I'm very excited about the work I'm doing uh, in my district in, in Silicon Valley. Do I want to be part of the national conversation? Absolutely. But I'd love nothing more than to someone to take my ideas in 2024 and implement it. Well, it was a great town hall. We had a better than expected turnout uh, on a Friday night. And now I'm headed to the airport for a 12 hour flight to Taiwan. I think people w want economic prosperity. They want economic success. What they're concerned about uh, is that they are left out, that their kids are left out. There's a hunger in America for people to cross the geographical lines, racial lines, to see that we're all on the same team. And so, if anything, I think it allows me to say, uh, I understand the global economy. I understand what it's going to take to succeed in the 21st century economy. And I want to make sure that every community, every American has that opportunity.